It's up, it's down, it's all around. The Dow taking quite the dip earlier today. It sunk below 26,000, then rebounded. But look what we've got here. We're now only 18 points above 26,000. Uh, the entire index is down about 96 points. So yesterday was, woohoo, we had all kinds of fireworks and everything closing above 26K for the first time. Should you be doing some discount shopping on the Dow right now. Dan Wontrowski is the director and research and technical analyst at Jenny Montgomery Scott. Oh, okay, well, I like bargain shopping. I'm one of those. <laughs> uh, I do too. I do too. I mean, it's, it depends what you think the valuation of the markets are here. I, you know, for us, bargain shopping at the top uh, with new all time highs, that, that becomes a challenge. But I think the message that we try to get out to investors is that from a valuation perspective, uh, markets are not at their peak multiple. In fact, we think there is still plenty of room to travel upward in the years ahead. Our call to clients has been for a while now that we expect the S&P 500, that's the benchmark we track very closely, we expect that to track north of 4,000 probably in the next several years. Well, well, well define, a hold on, that's a big call. <laughs> it's at 2797 <laughs> right now. You say 4,000 next yes. several years, two, three, four? Uh, several years. I would say we're probably about within the fifth or sixth inning of this ball game. So anywhere from five to six years, we do think so. Uh, we believe this is a secular bull market cycle. It's not a cyclical one. Mm -hmm. It's driven off of a major shift in demographics in this country where new household formation with the millennial boom generation is going to reach new all-time highs within the next decade. They're already about 50 percent of our workforce. Their labor participation far outpaces the national average. Mm -hmm. We think where we are in the credit cycle, in the credit markets in terms of availability and demand is the system functioning properly. It absolutely is. It's ready to accommodate okay. that new demand. And again, finally, from a valuation perspective, we do not think stocks are at their peak multiple. If you look back at prior bull markets, I mean, 1999, 2000 was a great example. The S&P traded at a multiple north of well, 40 Dan, times. It's trading okay, in the low I'm 20s sold. today. I, I'm sold on, on how great the market is. <laughs> well, that was easy. Where are the bargains? <laughs> and do this. you got 30 seconds. Give me the real bargains you see okay. out there. And do you have to go outside of the U.S. to get there? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, the U.S. is more expensive relative to other countries. Th this is what I would say. I mean, stocks are certainly not cheap here, so I understand that. Uh, what I like right now, I would still look at the banks and the financials, the banks in particular right now. There's two things from a valuation perspective. They're not ridiculously expensive as some of the other sectors out there. I think you're going to see some write downs in the first quarter, but then later on in the lat latter half of the year, you watch the 10 year note yield. You see yields at the long end of the curve breaking out. Banks and financials yeah. correlate very closely to that. So I think they're going to be okay. uh, a leader in the market tape. So that's where I would look. Dan Wontrowski, big bargain hunter, dollar store. I'm, I'm that girl. Hey, great to see you. Thank you so much. All right, a little bit of a pullback today. Nothing too horrific here, but the Dow is losing about 91 points, still 21 points above 26,000. A little bit of volatility here, but a lot happening in the next five hours with this budget situation after the bell starts now.